Hey guys, welcome to Blushing Around on Tuesdays with Vanessa. This week is Wild Card Week and I had a really hard time coming up with a topic. I always have a hard time coming up with wild card topics because I don't know what you guys want to um, watch. So what I did was I looked up makeup tags on YouTube to see what was going around that everyone was doing and I found that people were doing favorite drug drugstore items. So that's what I'm going to be showing you is my favorite drugstore items. I have quite a few things so let's just get started. My all time favorite brush is from Target. It's by Sonia Kashuk and this is This is the Bent Eyeliner Brush, and I have regular eyeliner brushes too. I have one from Sigma, but nothing compares to my Sonia Kashuk one. You can really get in... You can really get into um, any place that you need because it's like, just perfect. The next brush that I'm really digging is my Eco Tools, and I don't know if this is the blush brush or the powder brush, powder brush, but it's that big and it's perfect for my blush. I absolutely love this brush. It's really, really soft, and of course it's um, green Eco. It's made out of bamboo. This is bamboo. The next thing are um, Ardell Fashion Lashes. Now this box is empty because I'm wearing them now, but I think Ardell are one of the best um, lash companies out there. I think this was the first um, brand that I tried. No, actually I tried Mod Lash, I like. But this is 100% human hair, and these are just awesome. They're really easy to put on. It comes with a glue, but I don't use the glue, I use Duo. The next thing is my Revlon um, Cream Shadows. This is in seashell. Now, I've never used these as just a regular shadow. You probably can't see the colors, but it's like whites and pinks. I've never used these as a regular shadow, but I have heard that they crease as a regular sh shadow. They all look white. That's weird. But um, I use these as a base under or on top of like a Too Faced Shadow Insurance or a Painterly Paint Pot. And these really um, help the color stick onto your eye. And those are like eight bucks. My next one is my Revlon Color Stay Brighten Mineralized Finishing Powder. And I use this as a highlight right here. And it looks like that. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It gives me a really nice glow. You just put it on under there and it just really rings out your eye. This was like 12 bucks, I think. Okay, the next thing that I have to show you is my Alme Smart Shade Makeup with SPF 15, and this is in light medium 200. This stuff is incredible. Now, it comes out white. It has little beads, little black beads, and once you like put it on your face and blend it in, it kind of like transforms into a color that you would need. Like it works with your skin to come up with a color, and it has a really great coverage, coverage, and it's really nice. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, it is a little bit pricey for the amount that you get, but I think it's definitely worth it. And what I like to put on top of that, this is the first like actual foundation or powder I guess that I have tried since my adult life wearing um, makeup and I actually really like it. It's really, really, really cheap. But this is um, my NYX Smooth Mineral, not NYX, NYC Smooth Mineral um, Pressed Foundation Powder. And this one is obviously, I have a full one too looks like that. This is my second time buying it. And this is in 691A Natural Light. And I put this over this because sometimes I feel like this might make me too dark and then this kind of like sets it and makes me look more um, my skin. So these are really good. I think they're like four bucks or something. You might notice that I have 
quite a few Revlon things because they don't test, test on animals and it's probably one of the best drugstores. But my next two are lipsticks and these are from the Revlon Matte Collection. One is a Nude Attitude and Pink Pout and these are just matte lipsticks. They look like that. I'll swatch. That's Pink Pout. And these are just awesome lipsticks. Um, matte lipsticks tend to dry you out, so um, dry your lips out. But if you put like a lip gloss over them or after, they look really nice. The next five items are the same things. They're my Wet n Wild Mega Liners, and I have them in every color that I believe is available at this moment but they don't have um, colors, they have numbers. So this is 864, and this is a purple, and these are liquid liners, and they have a regular brush applicator. They go on very smooth, and I think they're like $2.99 or something. I was kind of scared, this is 865. I was kind of scared at first to use liquid liner, and although I still think gel liner is better, I do like liquid liners. This is a brown right here. And then I have a light blue, which is 862. A green, which is 863. This one is, I think, the first one that I bought. And it's so pretty. The last one, and then of course the black, and this is 861. So these are really good for the price. The next thing is my Biore Restore Skin Boosting Night Serum. I use this under my um, moisturizer, just looks like that. And uh, it really makes my skin really, really, really soft. And um, I notice a difference when I use this under my moisturizer and when I don't use it under my moisturizer. So I really like it. Next two things are NYC eyeliners. This one is in white. And everybody has to have a white eyeliner, of course. It's just a normal white eyeliner. And then the next one is one of the duo or duet. And it's in black and um, brown. And I honestly, I don't think I've ever used this side. But I use the brown side to fill in my eyebrows if I feel that I need to fill them in. So an eyebrow filler for the cost of this is awesome. My last three items are probably something that you guys are going to laugh at because these are extremely awesome. This is the Mary Kate and Ashley um, Line My Eyes Eyeliner. And they're retractable. Now I can't find these where I live, they're really hard to find, but I found these in Minnesota when I went to Minnesota, and they're just really good quality. I have in Onyx, and then Sparkling Brown, I'll swatch them for you, and then this one is my all-time favorite, it is Neon Turquoise, these are really good with the waterline, so they're all right there. That completes my blushing around on Tuesday. Um, stay tuned tomorrow for Jess for her wild card, and I will see you guys back here Tuesday when I will be doing a tutorial.